the Beginner's Bible, Elijah and Elisha, from 1 Kings 19 and 2 Kings 2. Elijah wanted a helper, so he chose a man to help him. This man's name was Elisha. Elisha loved God too. One day Elijah took Elisha with him on a long walk. Elijah was an old man now. I'm very old. It was time for him to go to heaven. When they came to the Jordan River, Elijah took his cloak off. He hit the water with it. The water moved back on each side. Elijah and Elisha walked across on dry land. Then Elisha, Elijah asked, What shall I do for you before I go? I want to be like you, said Elisha. You have asked a hard thing, said Elijah. But if you see but if you see me go, you'll get what you asked for. As they were walking and talking, they saw a chariot of fire coming. <sighs> Horses of fire pulled it. <sighs> it came between Elijah and Elisha. <sighs> and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha watched. And then Elisha picked up Elijah's cloak. He walked back to the river. He hit the river with the cloak and the water moved back so he could walk across. Elisha now had God's power with him, just like Elijah had. One day a woman came to Elisha. She was worried. I don't have the money I need to pay for everything I have. The man I owe is angry. He will take my two sons. He will make them work for him. What can I do? Elisha asked, What do you have at home? I only have a little oil, she, uh, uh, she said. Elisha said, Ask your neighbors for empty jars, then pour the oil into each jar. The woman did what Elisha told her. She poured and poured. Still her oil did not run out. Her oil was not gone until she had filled all the jars. She told Elisha, All the jars are full. Elisha said, go and sell the oil. Take the money you get and pay back what you owe. You can keep the money that is left over. Elisha went many places doing what God wanted. A rich woman lived... Uh, one day he went to Shunem. A rich, rich woman lived there. She took Elisha to her house for dinner. From then on, he was in Shunem. Whenever he was in Shunem, he ate at her house. They were good friends. This is Elisha and the Shunammite woman in 2 Kings 4. Let's make a room for Elisha on our roof, the woman said, said to her husband. We will put a bed in it. We will put a table and chair and a lamp in it. He can stay when there whenever he comes to visit. So they made a room for Elisha. Now Elisha had a helper. And one day when Elisha was staying in Shuin, he asked his helper, what can I do for this woman? She has made this room for me. She, she has no son, the helper said. So Elisha called the woman. Next year, God will give you a baby boy. It happened just as Elisha said. The next year, she did have a baby boy and she loved him very much. <coughs> Naaman was the leader of a great army. His wife had a little serving girl from Israel. But Naaman was sad and worried. He had a sickness called leprosy. It was a very bad sickness. Oh. One day the servant girl said to Naaman's wife, I wish Naaman would go see Elisha. Elisha would help him get well. So Naaman went to Elisha's house. And Elisha, Elisha told him, Go to the Jordan River. Wash yourself seven times there and you will be well. This sounded silly to Naaman. He got angry. Grr. I can wash in my own rivers at home, he said. They are better, cleaner, and don't smell. But Naaman's servant said, Do what Elijah said. It is an easy thing to do. So Naaman went to the Jordan River, washed and washed in it seven times. And he was well, just as Elisha said before. Josiah was eight years old when he became king. 
He was a good king. He obeyed God, and parts of God's temple were broken and old in the light, and, and Josiah got the workers to build it back. One day, the priest found something in the temple. It was something important. It was the book of the law of God. It had been forgotten for many years. He took the book to King Josiah. When the king read it, We must follow these laws. We must do what God wants, he said. And they did. God was happy with King Josiah, and God blessed him. All done, all done, all done. Good night.